everyone welcome back in today's video we'll explore implementation of callback functions in python we'll cover the best practices for using callbacks effectively and provide you with some practical examples so let's dive right in before we jump into the implementation let's quickly recap what callback functions are in python a callback function is a function that is passed as an argument to another function and gets executed at a later point in time. It allows us to define custom code that will be called back or executed when a specific event occurs or a certain condition is met. Now, let's look at an example to understand it better. Suppose we have a function called process underscore data that performs some data processing tasks we want to execute a different function. Let's call it callback. Once the data processing is complete, we will call this function callback. So we'll start with defining a function. Suppose process underscore data is the function. And we are going to take two arguments this time. And here we are going to have processed underscore data. This is a variable and then we are going to have data plus is processed okay and call back processed underscore data right then I'm going to define another function call back underscore function and we'll take result here and then i'm going to print processed data result okay so here i have defined a process underscore data function to perform data processing tasks right and once processing is done, we'll call the callback function. Okay. And uh, so this is another callback underscore function. Now let's call the process underscore data function and pass the callback function as an argument. So process underscore data. Um, so I'm going to take one argument because there are two arguments in that function. So callback underscore function so we're passing the function as argument so in this example we define the process underscore data function that takes two arguments data and callback inside process underscore data we perform the data processing tasks and store the process data in the processed underscore data variable once the processing is complete we call the callback function and pass the process data as an argument. The callback underscore function is defined separately. And in this case, it simply prints the process data. We then call the process underscore data function and pass the callback underscore function as an argument. When we execute the code, the process underscore data function will perform the data processing tasks and once it's finished, it will call the callback underscore function with the process data. This allows us to handle the process data in a custom way or perform, perform additional operations based on the outcome. Now that we understand the basics, let's discuss some best practices for implementing callback functions in Python. So the first practice is using clear and descriptive function names. It is very important to choose meaningful names for both the main function and the callback function. This makes your code more readable and helps others understand the purpose of each function. Another best practice is to document the expected behavior. So you should provide clear documentation or comments to explain how the callback function will be used and what parameters it expects. This will help developers who will be using or maintaining your code in the future. Another practice, another practice is related to 
handling errors and exceptions, you should consider adding error handling mechanisms within the callback function. This will ensure that any potential errors or exceptions are properly caught and handled, preventing unexpected behavior in your program. You should also keep the callback function small and focused to maintain code clarity and simplicity. It's recommended to keep the callback function small and focused on a specific task. If the callback function becomes too complex, consider breaking it down into smaller functions or even refactoring your code. You should also avoid tight coupling. You should strive for loose coupling between the main function and the callback function. What that means is they should not be dependent too much. This allows for more flexi flexibility and reusability of your code.